back so soon. Hush. I need not falter. Because it is 12.20 at night, and my mother is trying to sleep. I completely forgot to make a video in during the day, so now Another I'm making round, it. and our game truly begins. Shut up. So I'm making it later in the evening. I've played a bit of this game, and I wanted to show it to you guys, because I had a lot of fun. just get into it so I can show you what this game kind of is. So as you can see, like these are the bosses that you face uh, at the end of each round with with this card master guy. And I'm guessing these are some like really insane bosses. And once you beat them, uh, you kind of get them as a card. So I'm on the Inquisitive Dust and I will show you a bold woman, this one. She did not collapse when the Empire did. No, she took up arms, organized her people, and vowed that in a country where death had gathered, she would be the one dealing it. Okay, now I'm gonna start. Now we play for a cup, the first of my singleness. some cards to spice up the game. In addition to the pain and game decks, there are now blessings and curses. Choose your steps carefully. This token will unlock more cards if you can defeat this encounter. So yeah, so when I land on a card like this. These are enemy cards. Oh, this is actually different. The proprietor greets you. Welcome, traveler. Before I can treat you with, a hus with our hospitality, I must ask you a very important question. Have you seen, heard, or, God forbid, smelled a kraken? Never seen a kraken. Consider yourself lucky. There is no more foul a beast than a some time to enjoy the warmth and some stale bread, Carlo approaches you. I've heard rumors of bones going missing from the small village port of Norwich. No survivors, no witnesses. It kind of gives you a bit of a story in, in the game. And it's, it's a really cool just card game based style thing. Norwich port is run by bandits, thieves, and smugglers. There's no way to know what's really happening there. Perhaps you could have a look around to find out to look after. Carlo gestures to the empty, damp, written flea hole that he calls home. This Carlo's token, card's token, is now Take yours. the token. It is yours. And so I get those tokens and stuff as I move through uh, this area. Helpful priest. Priests, gods, and eternal damnations. I have no truck with any of it. Visions, I will bless you in the name of the old gods. I have 18 food for half of that, so I'll have nine left. Why not? Success. A choice. Select your desire. This one? Oh, I wanted a huge success. He says a few words in the language of the old religion and gently touches your forehead. It is done. Draw one blessing card. This card token is now yours. High constitution. Blessings will remain always active and are never removed. Unless you die, of course. Then you're back where you began, as always. The maiden. You might think the world of the cards is grim. Yet, even in the darkness, there is light to be found. Of the forest folk. My people have long held the mortals of this realm. 
What boon would you ask of me? Uh, I could use some supplies. Long life will give me health, supplies will give me food, and gold will give me... Well, gold. I could probably use some more food. More health would be really nice, though. I'll ask for the supplies. Two food. This bread will sustain you for many days. Oh, she I'm sure you're food. grateful for that. Oh, she gave me six food. Slacking along a muddy road. You Certainly. found a friendly trader willing to let you ride on his wagon. Hit your ride. You embark upon the next leg of your adventure. This game is still only beginning. New rules, new tools, new abilities. We I, have far to go as yet. I love this game because it's sort of like a fusion of of like a, a card game of Dungeons and Dragons and it's super fun. Twisted Canyon. You see a weapon glinting in the sunlight lying next to a skeleton at the bottom of the canyon. Climb down and retrieve it. I leave it. I'm gonna climb down and retrieve it. Could result in failure which could very much hinder me. Try this one. Oh my god. <laughs> Retrieve a weapon from the ancient core of Strawn equipment. Whoa. 32 damage. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and equip the desperate you measures. That's the right approach. Yes. Mr. Lionel. Oh, I've met this guy before. He's a very interesting fellow. Whilst enjoying your evening meal at the local tavern, a strange old man takes the seat next to you. He taps your shoulder quite painfully with his wooden staff to get your attention, and you notice that he appears to be a goblin poorly disguised as a human. His wizened face grins at you with a hint of madness. My name is Mr. Lionel. If you give me what I need, boy, I will conjure up your heart's desire with the wizarding wand of my own creation. He cackles uncontrollably for a few moments, then sits patiently waiting for your answer. give him 20 gold because I only have 10. I'll ask him what he needs. Need? I need your help. Mr. Lionel taps his staff on the ground and a shield materializes at your feet. There you go, old bean. He smiles a warm grin that reveals all of his chipped and yellow teeth. Your face reminds me your face reminds me of my son. I haven't met you before, have I? creation forged of alchemical processes but given permanent shape i know of nothing like it i don't have nearly enough for any of these what about cell what can i sell shield ah no i don't want to sell either of those uh i'll, I'll go back i'll leave i don't need anything right now i have 10 food i should be good for now I have a hundred, I 
I'm still at full health. Check over here. Rock full. Ah, oh, crap. A terrifying walk to get to the Queen. Watch your Three many potential places for an assailant to get the upper hand. While journeying near the coast, you hear a rumble overhead. Falling rocks force you to take cover. Both have to dodge rocks. Huge failure. I don't want huge failure. I want success. Please? Crap. You slip and stumble into the path of the rock fall. The dealer draws you two pain cards. Ouch. Dang it. I lost a total of 10 health. Just when you think it's over, you are knocked unconscious by a large rock striking your unprotected head. A good warrior always wears a helmet, you remember. Hours later, when you awaken to find that some of your supplies are missing, the dealer draws two painting cards. Oh. Sometimes it's not best, uh... Descend ever deeper into the subterranean pit. Sometimes it's not good to check all the cards, but... Man, you embark upon the next leg of your journey. You are close on her trail, and more confident than I had imagined. Perhaps you will play beyond this mark, and we will see your true metal. Rockfall again, great. Again, the stones tumble upon you. Excellent way to turn an injury into an asset. Chance to restore your cooldowns. Neat. Uh, defense light. Combat light armor gives some protection, but no penalty to your speed. I think I'm going to switch this because if I run into any. Middle of the road in every Sorry. way. step you take consume food, but you will also heal as you proceed. A group of bandits suddenly attacks. The King of Dust isn't happy about you killing his men. The dealer draws you one monster card. Oh, so I just have to fight two people. That's no problem. So I actually control this. Crap. Much good mate, do you? Yeah. Rockfall. 
an accident with all or these a rock falls. I wonder. token in it for you if you win. Okay. You're minding your own business in a local tavern when suddenly three masked men burst through the doors, grab a young man from the bar, and manhandle him outside. One patron bursts out in protest, but is quickly silenced by the solemn stares of all those around him. Leave them be, Garrett. If it is his time, then it must be done. I'm gonna follow the masked attackers. I wanna know what's going on. You follow the masked men outside. Immediately, you are confronted by a large crowd, all wearing masks. Their leaders speak to you. Whoa there, stranger. I really would prefer that no outsider witnesses what, witness what we're about here. I know this may look like a godforsaken thing we do, but we have no idea. But you have no idea of our troubles, so I'll ask you not to involve yourself. I will not ask twice. We have no time for objections. The crowd turns and drags away the young man, their torches burning a mournful light into the distance. Once the light has faded from sight, you follow their path into the forest. You catch up with them, and to your surprise, they are gathered around a yawning portal that whirls with malicious uh, portent. Despite their disguises, it is obvious that none of the hooded figures relish the thought, the sight before them, and many are obviously distraught. The captive is carried to the portal atop the shoulders of six people, as though they were his coffin bearers and he already dead. But the young man struggles are subdued by bound by bonds of rope. Will you interrupt the ceremony? Yeah. You you burst forth from your hiding place and plead with the assembled crowd not to go through with whatever bit bizarre ritual they are engaged in. But you gain no support. Their leader eventually speaks above the crowd. If this man is so adamant that none that one of our own should not be sent to the underworld, then perhaps he should go himself. You are immediately seized by the crowd and pushed toward the portal. Try as you might, they are too strong for you and you cannot escape. You stumble and fall into the portal. You fall to the ground with only a great, uh, with only a gentle jolt. You find yourself in a forest, but uh, that bears a most striking resemblance to where you just were, but with two very significant differences. The crowd of masked onlookers are gone, and the sky burns with bright red flames. Out of the sulfur and flames emerge a foul hell beasts. Crap! I should have minded my own business. Why am I such a nice guy? Skip. survived hell. Peachy. The Queen of Dust. Noble courses turn to rotten enterprise. You may win this battle and send the Queen to her rightful end. Yet, what have you gained in the process? This Desert Queen is more lethal in battle and harder to kill than a regular bandit. Her blades are sharp and she is frequently protected by a powerful crossbow. Win this and claim my token. Thank <laughs> you. 
its face. There we go. That would have been nice to know. That would have been nice to have remembered before. Still one, though. Inevitable, I suppose. So often those who beat plowshare to sword die by the grim instruments of their industry. Still, she fought well and bravely, which is all I expect from my pawns and players. You have earned the first of the symbols of my power and passed the first gate. There is no turning back now. Previously I was merciful, but now I cannot be. It is begun. I crafted each of these cards over the course of years. You have taken them from me mere moments. And now I get new cards from the tokens.